football preview series. Today we're covering Jacksonville State. We're going to tell you what their record was, how well they did in the playoffs if they made it, uh, some stats of theirs, and their big and some big opponents that they faced this year, and what I think the pre and what I think the score will be for the game. So last year Jacksonville State went 10 2. Uh, they beat us 48 to 19 at home at Williams Stadium, and they lost to uh, Youngstown State in the playoffs 40 to 24. And uh, it was it was a tough it was a tough game to be at. Um, I was there. Uh, it was really really bad. Uh, Buckshot came in and actually started producing pretty well, but then through two interceptions, Masha threw three, so there's five total. Um, it was just our team got a wake up call, and I think this was going to be the game that everyone thought was going to make or break our season, and it kind of really did break our season. So just like the SMU game that we should have won, but it's it is what it is. Um, it was it was a wake up call for our defense for our offense to see what we needed to do. And, uh, we play them next year. At, uh, I believe it's September twenty third at Jacksonville State. Uh, they were ranked fifty eighth in passing last year with seventeen hundred and sixty five yards and one hundred seventy six yards per game. But rushing, they were ranked in the top ten, so they were seventh. They had three thousand seven yards and averaged two hundred fifty per game. So obviously, they're a rushing team. Last a couple years ago, they were. I believe more of a passing team, but they do the triple option off option offense, which Liberty has struggled for for a long time. Ever since I was, I came to Liberty in two thousand nine when Danny Rocco was the head coach. Um, just seems to be a thing. I don't know why, but uh, you know we'll see what happens coming down in the future. But they're definitely keys to winning that game is that we gotta stop the run, and if we stop the run, they might pass. It's just something that happens. But uh, you know we'll get to that when we can. The passings I'm not really worried about because um, they only attempted like I don't know how many it was, but it was under 40 pass total pa total attempts for passing. So that's more or less it's going to be a rushing play. Uh, the score I believe is going to be 45 to 30 uh, JSU. Uh, normally I don't root against the other teams, but I just for me I just don't see a way for for Liberty to win this game unless our defense is amazing. It's stout in our offense. It's all the keys. There might you can't be perfect, but you have to be nearly perfect. It's just one of those things. You never know what could happen. I really want Liberty to win this game. This is our last season fully as an FCS team. We want to go out strong because we cannot make the playoffs. But yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm enjoying making these. It's good to be back. This is Liberty Band 20, and every day is game day.